Hi, my name is John Gibbons and today we're going to look at correcting a symphysis pubic dysfunction. Before we actually perform the correction, we're just going to test and palpate the area. Before we, we actually palpate the pubic symphysis, we need to make sure that uh, it is level and if it's not level, then we can do the technique. And before we actually palpate, we need to ask permission, are you okay for me to use my healer hand and just come onto the pubic symphysis, yes? So I'm going to use my healer hand coming down from the abdomen down to the pubic tubercle, palpate one thumb, one thumb, roll your thumbs over and the left side looks slightly superior in respect to the right side. So it might well be the left side is superior. Now to correct that, one choice is what we call the MET, the muscle energy technique or the shotgun technique. Bend the knees to 90 degrees. First technique is simply, we can ask the patients to take the legs apart as in abduction, take the legs apart and we resist for about 20-30% effort for 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds we relax for a few seconds and then we repeat the process again. Please take the legs apart and again we abduct. The idea of the abduction is that it causes reciprocal inhibition into the adductors and that's two contractions and relax and we normally do this for the third and resist again please. And after the 10 seconds, one way of releasing this joint is to simply place the fist between both of the knees and ask a patient to slowly squeeze and tighten firmly. And for a percentage of a the population, there will be an audible noise, which is known as a cavitation. And it indicates that the pubic symphysis has released. If it doesn't release in that technique, we can bring the hands apart and then just abduct again, just to fire up the abductors with the inhibition to the adductors. And then after that technique, we can then come round, place one hand on one knee, one hand on the other knee, and go to slowly squeeze in, please. And then as I squeeze in, a quick separation of the hands might cause the pubic synthesis to release. And if it does, you've now caused the cavitation to the joint. And then when we bring the legs back down, we can then repalpate the area to make sure the pubic synthesis joint is now aligned. And that would be known as the MET or the shotgun technique.